Hey everyone, Kabi here. Just wanted to demonstrate how to make a quick texture palette swap. So you want to change the color of a texture, perhaps for a new item, like say you're making variations on a specific item. In this case, the duffel bag, I want it to be in different colors. How would you do that? So let's go ahead and hop straight into it. I'm going to be using a plugin, which I'll link in the description. I'd recommend using this plugin and going with the DXT5 compression, but I'll show you all that in a second. So here I'm going to open the original texture just so that we're starting from a blank state here and we don't want to load mitmaps into separate layers, it's okay. All right, I want to change this into a red duffel bag texture. I'm gonna go ahead and add a layer and just Fill it with red. Okay, change the opacity here. Yeah, it's not really looking quite red. Well, first, let's go ahead and get all the green out of this. So, image adjustments, view saturation. Wow, you can just change it to red through here yeah red that's saturated desaturated too much looks like it bringing out all these artifacts so I would just go with zero zero is good okay we're starting from a good base here and now we use something like Soft light or hard light. Vivid light. Do saturation. Color. Yeah. Doesn't look too bad. Looks about right. Increase the opacity a little bit. Yeah, if you increase it too much, it kind of starts looking weird. But yeah, we're going to go with like kind of faded red here. And yeah, okay. That looks about right. We're going to go ahead and go with this for the texture. So I'm going to go ahead and save it as a duffel bag red. And I don't want to use the Intel Texture Works plugin. Oh, so I actually have to do file save as copy here. Save a copy, and instead of calling it this, I'm going to call it Duffel Bag Red D. And I'm not going to use Save as Type This. Instead, I want to use my other plugin by it's the TDS, and then Save. Okay, and we're going to go with D DXT5. I know a lot of places say to use DXT1. I find that it compresses it a little bit too much, and also, even though it doesn't have an alpha channel, it doesn't break the game or anything if you use DXT5. Just looks way better in my opinion. Go with the mip map. And that's fine, I think. Okay. Uh one thing that I want to show you is why you don't want to use DXT1. It's because you end up coming up with textures like this, which work, right? But you can see these like distinct cubic artifacts, right? So I'd rather just use DXT5 and it looks a lot better. It looks like this when it turns out. So let me go ahead and export this. Uh, just to show you again how to export it. So black, save, yes. Going to, oh, this is the wrong plugin. So save, copy, ETS, save. 65 bit map neutral, okay. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our texture. Let's open it in Photoshop to make sure it looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. A little bit of compression artifacts, but that's just part of the game, baby. Okay, let's go ahead and make our item now. So we have every item that we need here. 
except for the one that we're trying to make. So I'm going to start with the original item as base and I'm going to copy as new record. We're going to call it red. Copy to the right one. Okay, let's go ahead and change the name. Okay, we're going to make sure the effect is set correctly. Everything looks good here. Everything looks great, except for the texture set. So I'm going to have to make a new texture set for my red texture. And that's going to be pretty simple. The texture sets are basically just a pointer to this string that shows you the file path of the texture that you want. So I shouldn't have any problem if I just go ahead and copy new record. And change this to red. We also have to change the texture set in the new item that we're trying to make. Make sure, yeah, this is also red TS. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, and then save, close. And now we have assigned the texture set to both the world model and the model when it's on the player. I don't know what the name for it is, but you have to make sure that both are changed. So we're gonna go ahead and put on that red duffel bag again. And yeah, you can see that it's red. It looks pretty nice for the most part. And yeah, that's about it for this little tutorial on how to make a texture set for your item or make a new item in general with the color palette swap on the texture. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.